Hello, hello! This is a simple trick for creating different types of keyword highlights. Let's get started. In this example, let's say that you've established with the rest of your team that you have a library of callouts that, you're, uh, that you've agreed to use. One of them is the callout open angle bracket T close angle bracket and uh, repeating that again and that any word that is going to appear in between these two tags is going to be highlighted as a key term uh, and it's going to have the same attributes wherever it may appear. Uh, let's also say that you've already made a character style and you've discussed it with the rest of your team. In this case, uh, we're going with the character style bold red. All it does is make the text bold and add the character color red to it. Your job is then to search through the entire body of text and replace any instance uh, of words where those tags appear and apply the character style to them. And you also don't want to have to go through the entire text and do a, a global search and replace uh, removing all of these tags. First thing I'm going to do is make a new paragraph style and apply that paragraph style to this block of text here. I'm just going to call this card text and I'm going to now apply that paragraph style to this paragraph. Done. I'm opening up that paragraph style again and I'm going straight to the grep styles here. In the grep styles, I am making a new grep style. I'm going to apply the bold red character style from the uh, character style list and I'm applying it to the text. This text is a grep string that basically says uh, search for any text that is in between these two tags and it's going to apply the bold red character style to them. If we preview this, we can see how this would work. You can see that repel here has been updated with this new character style and that uh, in one case here, health, it has not changed. That's because there is a uh, slash here. The writer, for example, in this, in this case, this lesson, has accidentally put a close uh, slash here, uh, assuming that it works just like HTML. So if you just delete that, then you can see that it automatically changes uh, this whole set of characters into that character style. So you have successfully made a grep style now that applies this bold red character style to certain words that have been called out with these T tags. What are you supposed to do with those tags themselves? Well, all you have to do is make a new grep style here. And again, this is assuming you've already made a character style called invisible. In that character style, all you've done is make the text 0.1 uh, size and you've removed any character color from it. And you're going to apply that to any instance of this string of characters here. Any instance of angle T close angle is going to be uh, replaced with this invisible character style. There you can see that this grep style has now turned any instance of angle T close angle and made it completely invisible. If you were to do some kind of text to voice or copy paste, you'd still see that those tags in the raw text. But for our purposes, those tags have now been rendered completely invisible and you have a quick and easy way to work with your team and apply character styles for all sorts of highlights in your text automatically. In the next episode, I'll show you a slightly more advanced character style that adds this capsule background to a keyword. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and support the rest of this series on Patreon.